IIT has lost uh, anything, it is just that few more institutes are constantly upgrading themselves to reach to the level of uh, that quality which IIT delivers or some other international institutes. It was as strong as you wanted it to be, it all depended on you. You want to take it easy, you take it easy. You want to work, you work. You had all the facilities that were available because, well, let's face it, it was being funded by the students themselves. They, we did pay capitation and we did get in and we chose the stream of our choice. But it was again up to us whether we want to take it forward or not. I don't think it has anything to do with anything else. IITs are known for providing as uh, the other person has Kushund. said, uh, that they, they provide the, uh, the infrastructure and ambience hmm. for all, all around personality development. It does provide a lot more uh, in terms of the way they do it. I mean, they have the best of faculty and everyone uh, there. I mean, uh, you know, uh, they have a certain lineage and pedigree that everybody looks up to. But coming back to Manipal, they give you the opportunity, I would say that. Uh, the ambience is there, the facilities are there, there's nothing that uh, was uh, there, not there in uh, Manipal, that wasn't there in anywhere else. So we were right up there with the best of them. Is there is a certain stigma attached that, you know, you did do what you did, you have to excel in that because you've been branded as an IIT and that in itself is a big responsibility on your shoulders to say that I want to go away from it does take a lot of cuts. If the drive exists within you, it doesn't matter whether you're from IIT or MIT, you will excel. But yes, the IITNs or the other established colleges, uh, they do have one major, major advantage. When you're branded with an IIT thing, you walk in somewhere, doors open up for you.